pretty familiar. No, uh, let me tell you a story. Uh, we may have gotten scammed. <laughs> we walked um, towards Battery Park. And this is so funny because previously I was told by some of the girls who attempted to go to the Statue of Liberty, people went up to them really aggressively like hey go buy a uh, trip to statue of liberty very aggressively approached um by all these like scammers right and i was like huh, okay good to know because i'm still planning to go there good to know i'll be careful of that <laughs> i'm with ame who definitely can stand her ground if anybody i would trust her to save me from this <laughs> And then Kiana, who was born and raised, lives her whole life in New York. Like, this is not gonna happen to me. <laughs> and then when we reach the point of Battery Park, we see that it's closed off, kind of, partially. Like, there's, like, some construction going on. And we walk over a street and we see... We see lots of people in blue vests talking up people. And the moment we cross the street, they immediately come up to us. And are like, hey, you, you got a ticket? And then Ame's like, yeah, yeah. Which we don't, but um, I think she did say that. She said that because uh, she thought they were scammers at first. They're like questioning it. Um, and like asking for which, which fairy and this and that. And then she's like, ah, oh, I lied, I, yeah, I got no ticket. <laughs> but I think she got intimidated by them, because they were questioning it. And then they're like, okay, like, we can get your ticket, we'll get your ticket. And um, and then they start, they start, like, selling us stuff, like, attempting to sell us stuff. I'm, I was not really participating in the conversation, because I thought, well, they, they, those two will handle it. <laughs> I'm still kind of like trying to make sure it's legit. She just like softly asks, like, is is this is this the official, you know? And and then their argument is, well, look at this vest that we're wearing, and look at this like ID that we have hanging around our neck. If we weren't official, the police would get rid of us here. And I'm looking at their ID and I'm thinking to myself, I, I, was, I was so close to saying it out loud. I was thinking like anybody can print out a fucking ID and hang it around their neck. This doesn't even look like that proper anyway. Um, but I didn't say it. I mean, they were not like, uh, it, they didn't seem as aggressive as I would have expected from what the other girls were telling me about, you know? I'm, I'm saying like, okay, I'll pay for me and Kiana and Ame pays for herself because Kiana, I felt like uh, she didn't even know that we were going to do this. So I didn't want to like force her to pay something. So I was going to cover for her. So Ame tries to pay first with her card, but it doesn't work. So I'm like, okay, that's fine. I'll just um, cover all of us for now. And his like card reader is still printing out the slowly printing out the like failed receipt of Ame's attempt to buy it and I'm like looking at it and like waiting for it to come out and, and, and kind of studying it because I, I didn't realize it was the Ame receipt and he keeps on telling me that's trash that's trash like basically kind of trying to keep me from looking at it and I'm like I realized then later that oh okay that's not not the right one okay anyway I take it anyway and he's like, that's trash, you don't need it, throw it away, that's trash. And I realized afterwards why he didn't want me to look at it, because he raised the price again. Um, and I would have seen that, I kind of did see it, but I didn't question it too much, because he did say something like, taxes, taxes, that's why it's more. So... He ended up charging me 55 bucks per person. <sighs> So, I got charged 160 plus bucks for all three of us. We were literally like five walking minutes away from the real dock. But he tells us to get into this bus. It's like a hop on, hop off bus. Mm. My card is a debit card, not a credit card. So I can't do a chargeback. 
Um, we sit up for a while and we notice time is ticking and somehow the bu the bus is just not moving. When is this bus gonna go? And in this time, I'm starting to look up uh, this company's name on Google. Honestly, why did none of us do this beforehand? We just It would have taken a moment because I look up the company's name on Google and immediately everything says scam, 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 scam. And it says, like, they make you wait on their bus for ages, uh, like, hours, and they keep on, like, delaying it, and you either don't get, don't end up going at all, um, or you maybe get to go, but you, you don't get on the actual island, even though they say it! Even, how dare they say that? They say you get on the island, on the actual island, because they literally showed us, like, a map and everything, and a picture, like, you can't go here, but you can go here. So, we left the bus, and while we were leaving, I was like, I, I said to the other tourists who were sitting in the bus, like, hey, this is a scam, probably, so, you know. But they didn't seem to understand me. So, oh well, I feel bad for them. And then, I was saying to the girls, like, while we were sitting in the bus and, like, figuring this out, I was like, you know what, like, honestly... If they were official... There would be no need for them to go up to people and try to sell shit to them. Because Statue of Liberty is literally one of the most famous tourist attractions of the world. They have no need to get people to go somewhere. You go, as a tourist, you go to them. You don't, like, they t go up to people and talk to them and are like, Hey, you need a ticket, you need a ticket. If they were official ones, there's no need for them to try to sell anything, right? No, but I, I really, like, thought, oh man, we were kind of dumb to fall for this because it was actually so obviously a scam and we were even warned by the other girls! 